A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus answered, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. The young man replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking one thing. Go uh, and sell all that you have and give to the poor, and then you'll have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. And so Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. And they were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for human beings, it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, We have given up everything to follow you. And Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, There is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age, brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father Francis here, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Him forever. Well, uh, I'm trying something new. Um, now, you are able to, if you're watching this video, and I'm hoping the audio is going to be better than the last video. It was a little off sync last video, I apologize. But this is a 360 view camera I'm using. It's called a GoPro Fusion, and you can turn around and hopefully you can see all of this beautiful glory, glorious creation that I'm standing in. This is where I love to come and film some of my videos. Again, here it is in the beautiful autumnal uh, season of October. Uh, October the 11th, I'm making this on a Thursday afternoon. And uh, so I thought I would try this for the first time. It's my new GoPro Fusion 360 camera. The audio may not be the greatest. Uh, I'm trying to do, am I doing a second audio? No, I'm not. <laughs> so this is it. So if this worked, it worked. If it didn't, it didn't. And I'll have to try another video. So today, you know, uh, we, uh, we, we've listened to... Uh, the gospel, the reading today, and the reading, uh, the first reading is all about wisdom, uh, holy wisdom, Hagia Sophia, divine wisdom. And basically, wisdom helps us to uh, examine our lives and, you know, with all of the mystery that life has, the, the joys, the sorrows, the, the ups and the downs, the back and the forth and all the things that we all experience as human beings. You know, sometimes we have to have wisdom that guides us, you know, kind of like a, a, a like computers have a, a certain processor uh, that, that is basically does all of these multiple calculations that helps us to, that helps the computers to do all the different things that they do. And we do so many different things. We have so many different interests. We have different relationships. We have different ex life experiences. We have different problems. We have different joys, you know. And so, uh, you know, we have to have something uh, kind of like an internal mechanism that helps us to process uh, these things so that we don't kind of run amok. Uh, sometimes when we get, um, you know, uh, for, uh, if we're having difficulties in our life, uh, sometimes, you know, we, uh, we, we struggle. Um, I'm noticing now, <laughs> I've made this, this is my second attempt at making this video. I'm noticing now that the beautiful clouds that you see over here, if you pan around and pan up, you can see these clouds. Uh, as I was leaving Chico, I asked myself, 
as I'm looking at these clouds on the horizon, how far out are those clouds? How far do I have to drive to stand underneath those clouds? And so they've already passed by me a little bit, but I was able to, as I was setting up the camera, stand underneath the, the beautiful clouds there and kind of gave a nice shat, shaded canopy there as I was setting up the camera. But now the sun is back out again. But anyway, so, uh, but I, uh, you know, I just, I just thought, you know, this is just a beautiful time to, to get up here and to kind of just kind of let go of some things and uh, try to, you know, really uh, enter into this beautiful, you know, beautiful uh, highlands up here on Highway 32. Just beautiful. Uh, but again, I think that's the message that Jesus wants to communicate in the gospel is to let go of the things that sometimes get in the way of our life with others and our life with God. Uh, the wonderful thing is this young man comes up and he asks the most important question of all, what must I do to obtain eternal life? My friends, have you actually asked that question of yourself? And if, if not lately, when was the last time you actually answered that question satisfactorily? The young man is, is eager to, 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 know this, to know the story, or not to know the story, but to know the answer. And Jesus tells him the answer, but the answer is not exactly what he was expecting. Uh, sometimes when we pray, God will reveal things to us in, 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 in ways that are in, uh, in affirming and positive, and sometimes they're challenging. And this young man was clearly challenged. Um, now, again, we could always take the surface understanding and say that, you know, wealth is a very, uh, it's a very uh, delicate thing. It can, it, can, it can cloud our judgment. It can cloud our, our, our spiritual lives. But I think what the young man is really uh, having to deal with is that when we talk about wealth, we talk about things, uh, we talk about basically having power. These, the, the quote unquote wealth and the things give us an illusion of power. And what Jesus is trying to break through to him is that uh, you need to let go of thinking that you actually have power, that we have power. Sometimes I think that that is probably one of the biggest things that people have to deal with, whether it's in their personal lives, their marriage lives, their work lives, their uh, social lives, you know, kind of have this sense of, I have power over you, or I have power over this. And sometimes God has to remind us very, very harshly that we really don't have the power that we think we do. We deceive ourselves. And this is what this young man, I think, is realizing, that he has deceived himself by thinking that he's kept the commandments, that he's done all these things right, when in, when in fact uh, he really needs God in order to find out uh, what eternal life is all about. I hope you got something out of that today. I think I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.